The purpose of this video is to show how you can filter messages that have been sent in the chatter. So let's go to uh, an order for instance. And on this order, I'm going to create a new order for Nicholas Kaczynski and just save it. We don't need to add any products and I'm going to leave a note and I'm going to say um, this customer called and asked for information about our product. Call back. Whatever that may be, perfect. So the chatter is going to give you, when you look at it at the record level, it's going to give you a full overview of everything that happened. To filter from here, I would recommend just using this, right? Everything will be searchable if you pull it up and you can scroll that way. If you want more advanced reporting for the chatter, then you go to reporting chatter history. And here I can type in, for example, 22, and it shows up here. That's because that's the sale order I just wrote that on, and it'll give me full visibility here. And I can always group by, for example, the author of the message. And I can see that Mitchell Admin, which is my name up here, on sale order 22 at this particular date time down to the second, wrote a comment that said this customer called and asked for information, etc. Um, if I send an email out, right, let's go back to that order. Uh, sale order, that's actually a quote, the one I was just on for 22. And I'll send an email and I'll say, um, hello there. Or better yet, I'll open up the composer. Uh, subject would be, um, hello, are you ready to buy? I don't know why you would ever put that as your subject, but you get the idea. Um, send it out. There it is. Now when I go to the chatter history, top of the list, there it is. Hello there. Here's the subject, the date, the uh, from is the email address. The author is this user here. Um, and then the record it's on. And then you see the body here. And then there's some other technical stuff like tracking um, recipients, which you probably want to hide from non-technical users. It goes into like the outgoing mail server that was used to communicate this, who the reply to is scheduled to. Um, and then obviously the content of the message is what you're probably interested in, which is all on display here. And you can always search content as well. So I can see all the hellos, including hello there. I can see all the things that say product, including the most recent one we posted up here. And I can always, again, just group by the author. And I can see all the different authors of the messages and I can see, um, drill down and actually see all the content. So this is gonna track a lot of information. Um, you know, you can also go in and use favorites and say, I just wanna see all comments. And I wanna see all comments where the content is product. Right, or I wanna see all emails, or I wanna see um, emails, and those are all the outgoing emails um, in this example that I've just created in this demo environment. So that is, has I'm not sure what has mentions does, need action, has attachments. Uh, we can see those here. The other filters are all gonna be listed here. So, if you have any questions on how this works, um, this should give you a pretty comprehensive overview. If you just wanna limit messages that users can see to their own, that's possible as well. Um, you just would do that through a configuration so that if I were to ever come to Chatter History, I'd just see a long list view of all of the comments or emails that I've sent out out of the system as a user and I can't see any other user's emails. That's all possible with configuration. I could also set it up so that I don't see, I only see emails, right, that have been sent, or I only see just comments, um, and a user can't have the flexibility that I have here in the demo as the admin, right? You can set it up so that you really limit the scope of what these users can see uh, and search, uh, et cetera, all the way down to the field level, right? I could, if I wanted to say, uh, a user can see every uh, email or comment or anything uh, that's posted in the chatter, uh, except those records related to sell order 22, or except, um, you know, for any customers that belong to geographic zone one, uh, right? You can get really down into the weeds with the uh, configuration of the user access rights to prohibit users from seeing that information. So if you have any questions on this, uh, please feel free to reach out and let me know. I'll be happy to go into detail. Thanks so much and have a great day.